Where is Jesus sitting? In the middle. Good. He and his disciples are breaking bread. And what drink? Wine. They drank wine. They did. And one final question. How many wine glasses are there on the table? One. The Holy Grail. Open your eyes. No single cup. No chalice. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Considering both the Bible and standard Grail legends celebrate this moment as the definitive arrival of the Holy Grail. Hmm. Now, Robert, you could have helped us. If you'd be so kind as to show us the symbols for man and woman. Oh, no balloon animals. Oh. You can make a great duck. This is the original icon for male. It's a rudimentary phallus. Quite to the point. Yes, indeed. It's known as the blade. It represents aggression and manhood. The symbol still used today in modern military uniforms. Yes, the more penises you have, the higher your rank is. Now, as you would imagine, the female symbol is its exact opposite. This is called a chalice. And the chalice resembles a cup, a vessel, or more importantly, shape for a woman's womb. No, the grail has never been cut. It is quite actually this ancient symbol of woman. And in this case, a woman who carried a secret so powerful that if revealed, would devastate the very foundations of Christianity. You're saying the Holy Grail is a person? A woman? And it turns out she makes an appearance. Right there. For our friend. Sans real, it means royal blood. Keepers of the proof of our true past. The pagans found transcendence through the joining of male and female. They are the guardians of the royal bloodline. You ask what would be worth keeping. Witness the greatest cover up in history. Insult in. Why? The pagans found transcendence in the joining of male and female. Male and female, half human and half animal, good and evil, on and off. 
the Baphomet represents a tradition that should result in the new social order. A new world order. The arms bear the Latin words solve, for separate, and coagula, for join together. Divide and conquer all nations under one law. One law and order, and that is what it is. One law. We have one beautiful law. interface technology is producing a new generation of cochlear implants, I think, of new tools that we acquire, but over which we, the human race, had the advantage which we control. And that is not necessarily the case in the digital age. I, smart cities will pollinate with sensors, all joined together by the internet of things. Bollards communing invisibly with lampposts. But this technology could also be used to keep every citizen under round the clock surveillance. A future Alexa will pretend to take orders, but this Alexa will be watching you, flapping her tongue and stamping her foot. You may keep your secrets from your friends, from your parents, your children, your doctor, even your personal trainer. But it takes real effort to conceal your thoughts from Google.